think uh, episode 12, I believe, if I'm counting right. I'm here with Gene Pope. Gene, I know you told me you're, you do HR for the city, but yes. we're here to talk more about uh, something that's really special to your heart. Not that that's not, but uh, <laughs> CHIPS, the internship program. Tell us what's CHIPS stand for and what is it? So CHIPS is the Citywide Hamilton Internship Program. It is a program that is a supplement to the equity plan for the city. And we service young people of color ages 16 through 30 that live in the city of Hamilton. We do have individuals that um, come from surrounding areas, but we're focusing on bolstering the, again, young people of color here in the city of Hamilton, showing them what the options are for employment, what the residential options are, and then how they can be more intrinsically attached to the city and all that is involved in it. And, and how long has uh, CHIPS been uh, active? Uh, we started in 2020, um, in basically the middle of the pandemic yeah, in time. August, yeah. <laughs> we um, And so our first, our pilot episode, so to speak, of CHIPS was then. Um, since then, we've had seven cohorts. We've serviced over 70 uh, young people. We've put over $200,000 back into young people's hands, um, which has been diverted back to the city by virtue of some of the activities that we have um, and some of the ways and means that we've shown them that they can um, spend their funds, but also be an intrinsic part of the city. And I'm guessing some of these kids, they're, they're just getting skills they may not have and definitely skills they're gonna to need to move on further in the workforce and deal with people like you, maybe in a more mm -hmm. professional manner when you're running HR for the city and all kinds of people working uh, Absolutely. there. What, what are some things that uh, young people now maybe are lacking as far as like things they're gonna need that you can't really get in school necessarily and you need hands-on training? Well, um, the CHIPS program has uh, four um, pillars. The first pillar, of course, is the job experience. The second pillar is continuing education. That's where we give an intricate look, um, provide guests during our lunch and learns that allow our interns to explore different segments of employment, uh, do resume building, uh, build their social media profiles, things of that nature, work on soft skills, networking, all the things that you need to be a more confident member of the employment world, so to speak, and really kind of get to know what you as an individual want. And as a young person, those can be some of the barriers that they have. So we try to move, remove those by by the second pillar. Our third pillar is community involvement. Within the program, we require that all of our interns um, attend a board, a commission meeting, or um, are involved in a volunteer opportunity in the city. And, we, and we've had a lot of success with that. We actually have one of the youngest board members on the Diversity and Inclusion Commission. And at one of the meetings that we went to, Parks Conservancy Board meeting, we actually had an intern ask about an internship opportunity there, which actually turned into a full-time position for him. And so that's a win-win. Our fourth pillar is aftercare. So after the 12 weeks of the internship, we don't just leave our interns, we continue to support them, encourage and empower them in any way that we can. Um, we do professional as well as personal development, and we actually have a really good time doing it. And, and, you, and I know for a fact you stay in touch with them after the program's <laughs> over because uh, we, I don't know if you call it a graduate, it's one of your CHIPS, <laughs> alumni, one yeah. of your chips <laughs> alumni. She, she works at my office full time, Shania. We, we love her, mm -hmm. so I know you were talking to her beforehand. Um, yes. And, and and, and what's some of the progression you've seen, like some of the success stories? I mean, from week one till they're through the fourth pillar and beyond, um, how much, com I think confidence is probably one of the main things people gain. Oh, absolutely. I mean, well, I mean, just a testament, um, Shania, for example, when Shania first started the program, she was very shy, um, had challenges entering in or starting a conversation through the work that we did with Telhio and then the YMCA, which is an amazing partner. Um, she was able to further her career by apparently impress impressing yeah. you and obtaining a, you know, a job position there, which is wonderful. Um, confidence is a big thing, but also for our young people to uh, make decisions. You know, sometimes they don't know what options are out there. Um, specifically, let's talk about um, administration, public administration at the city. People see the city and they think, oh, they're limited as to what 
we can do or what we can provide as far as employment. Our employment ranges everything from agriculture, you know, botany, we have to plant flowers and trees, et cetera, um, to um, electrical engineering, civil engineering, to what I do, um, which is manage the entire employment process, um, all the way up to our city manager's office, and he's managing the whole doggone city. So <laughs> there's plenty of opportunities. Um, what's the connection with Miami? We're here in Wilkes Hall. Mm -hmm. um, my camera guy liked all the flags. It's a, it's a good <laughs> place, but we're not just here because of that. You guys, Chips has a connection here. What is the connection with Miami? We do. So the co-founder, um, uh, Shamana and myself are founders of the program. Um, Shamana is a lecturer here at Miami Regionals, and um, Miami has been an amazing partner to us. We utilize their facilities to do our lunch and learns, which happen every other week during the cohort season for the interns. We also have um, our graduation ceremony here. So um, it's a very healthy relationship and Miami Regionals has been a wonderful partnership for us. Um, you know, it's just a good program in general. Um, Thank you. Because a, a lot of kids, they, obviously people need jobs. Me as an employer, we need people with skills or at least the confidence to try to learn some skills. And, and sometimes that's hard to find or, you know, you'll hear a lot of people say it is. So it's kind of bridging a gap. Um, if, I'm, if I was a, a person wanting to get into CHIPS as an intern, mm -hmm. how, how do they go about applying? Well, they can go to our amazing little website, chipshamilton.com. There is an application they, they will place on our internship page. It's short and sweet, but the process is accordingly. Um, they place an application, then we will connect with them and complete an interview with them and see if they are a good fit for CHIPS and we're a good fit for them. Things don't always align, but we certainly do our best to try to do so. Um, after that, we place them with where their interest is. If we don't actually have a position for where a young person wants to be placed, we absolutely try to use our network, our connections to do so. Um, and so, if, as I am an employer and I wanted a CHIPS intern, how do I go about, is, there, is it a similar application? It is, so same place, but just for employers. So chipshamilton.com. Um, we have several ways that we fund our internships and certainly by people reaching out, we're happy to discuss those options. We provide not only an employee, employer experience, but also we want the young people to understand that their leadership skills are important. We are trying our best to empower and support and educate the next generation of leaders by connecting them, again, by giving them an education as to what's available here in the city of Hamilton. And I think if you talk to um, some people that have lived here for quite a long time um, before, you know, sort of our renaissance has happened, um, the general phraseology was that Hamilton was not a place for young people to live, work, and play, and grow, and have a family. That is absolutely the complete opposite now. There are so many things to do. There are so many ways to invest in the community. There are so many different and diverse people to be around. It really has been an amazing transformation. And I think the entire community of the city of Hamilton is to be patted on the back. And, and it's, it seems like maybe for someone who's maybe a little bit more shy or, or maybe has that old kind of mentality, Chips may be a good first step to open their eyes and say, hey, there is more out there to life than maybe, I, maybe I've known myself. Absolutely. One of, the, one of the other things that we do that happens intrinsically is that within the cohort or within the internship time period, the young people get together and they really form their own network. So they begin to count on each other and exchange information and give each other avenues to explore different options or even are able to talk a little bit more candidly about, you know, their thoughts, their dreams, their um, ambitions. Um, and we are part and part of to that, which is a lot of fun. We don't just do education. So we'll go to, uh, we'll play pickleball, top golf. We do a specific excursion, which is our uh, Explore Hamilton tour. That's where we will take a party bus, not a regular yellow bus, mind you, a party bus. Sounds more fun. Oh, yes. I mean, we have the music going <laughs> and everything. Um, uh, but we go all around the town. We have usually uh, Brandon Sarber, 
uh, and Jacob Stone, who are aficionados in everything Hamilton, come with us. We introduce young people to all the different companies that are a lot of the different companies that are around here. We take them to eat different places. Um, the Hub is a really nice place for us to kind of wind up. Um, and let's see, um, we, we go to Pullman Lanes and Riverside Racquet Club. All right, so, yeah. so those a are just a few. Town. Yeah, um, just a few of the things. So you got a cohort you said starting June twelfth, I think, for the we summer. We do. Um, how many people are in that? In that? How many interns? We have about twenty five. That's pretty. Maybe that's your biggest class ever. It is. Yeah. <laughs> but we're really excited, and our best recruiters are actually our Chips interns. They. Um, they screen and they really believe in the program and they refer people that they know are going to um, benefit, but have ambitions um, that are going to be, you know, a, uh, a kudos or, um, you know, a, a light for our program, so to speak. I mean, hearing it from someone more their age or like a, a, a someone that's an intern or just recently got out of class probably sometimes speaks more than hearing it from someone like me or you. Oh, that's absolutely. Telling them, yeah, you guys can do it. Sometimes people don't always believe that when they're young. I know I didn't. Um, it, so you, you got the class, What 25 people. Mm -hmm. What kind of places in Hamilton are taking, uh, have you placed these interns with this summer? So of course, the city of Hamilton. All right. Um, the YMCA, the YWCA, uh, Booker T. Washington Community Center, uh, Mercy Fairfield um, Hospital. Let's see, uh, Tulhio is one of our placement places. We have, I feel like we have so many. Oh, Pyramid Hill. Um, so those are just a few of them. But of course, you know, obviously for 25 people, we've got a litany, which is really yeah. nice. And I have to say the community has been very helpful in uh, helping us to place our young people. And these are paid internships, correct? They are. $15 an hour. We do a maximum of 20 hours per week. Now, if the employers want them to work longer, then we certainly work out a schedule or more hours per week. We work out a schedule. Um, but we want our young people to get the most out of their experience and we want the employer to get the most out of the experience because the goal is to not only provide an opportunity but obviously potentially for the employers to gain an amazing employee so yeah i mean it, I, she wasn't one of my chips intern but it, <laughs> i ended up with one of your people that was trained up through you guys and it's worked out great for me and i and that's how I heard about chips. I had never heard of it, and Shania told me all about it, and she yeah. was really positive about it, and she's passionate about it. So, so we've talked about how you can apply if you want to be an intern, mm -hmm. and how you can apply if you want to be an employer. Um, what if you just want to help out? You don't have a business, or you don't have a business that can take on an intern, and you don't want to be an intern, maybe yeah. you're further along in your career. Are there other ways to help out and get involved or there, volunteer? There, thank you for that. There absolutely are. Um, if you go to our website, um, you can go on the donations page, and you can donate to the general, uh, the Chips General Fund, or to sponsoring an intern. Um, we actually have a trip that we are looking to take in 2024, and have the young people go to Puerto Rico and see how they are rebuilding, and do a comparison um, study. We hope in conjunction with. Miami potentially um, on how uh, Hamilton has rebuilt. Um, we, our fiduciary agent is also with uh, the Hamilton Community Foundation, who has been an amazing partner for us as well. There's a lot of different organizations pitching in here. Seems like there there really are. You know, um, light many hands make light work. That's a Brandon Sarber quote. Right. You know, and it truly Wonder is. Wonder where he got it. From. <laughs> I have no idea, but I tell you, I told him I'll give him credit for it the first three times. All right, uh, <laughs> we'll give him credit. Yeah, that, let's, I'm on number two now, so. But we have a great opportunity to, as you know, older people or seasoned people, seasoned, uh, yeah. seasoned people, to show our young folks that you know we care and that there is a place for them here. Not only that, but their voice is warranted and wanted. Um, and in order to do that, we all have to pitch in and create that avenue or space. And we are doing that in droves. Let me also just say, um, in 2021, we did win the Ohio Economic Development Association Award for Excellence in Workforce. And we are so super proud to have been able to come up with an innovative program. There, there are other internship programs out there, of course, but they are not going um, 
I think to the lengths that we are in order to stay in contact, in order to continue to again support and empower our um, young people. I mean, I spent Mother's Day um, speaking with one of our interns who's a budding entrepreneur and helping him um, get his LLC license through the State of Ohio Commerce Department. I mean, it's those types of things that not everybody has access to information or a resource where they feel comfortable saying, you know what, I really want to do this or I really want to do that. Um, and then being able to connect them with someone to help them get to the next point. And that's what we really pride ourselves in doing. And and as you said, and uh, we have been supportive and helpful to Shania, and we're excited to continue on this journey for her. So thank you for, you know, for offering her a, an employment Most, opportunity. Thank you. I mean, I, I needed to do what works. I mean, uh, um, it, it, it helps everybody. Um, why did you start? It seems like a lot of work. I mean, it seems like you get a lot out of it. Is that is that why you, you and your friend uh, wanted to start this? Well, you know, when I came to the uh, city of Hamilton, I, I wanted there to be more interaction with the youth, specifically young people of color, and allowing them to see how much more part of this wonderful city that we have. Also, there was, um, I think, a general sentiment that people were looking for um, diversity within the workplace, but didn't have the wherewithal or the means to really connect in different communities. Um, and just expanding on that, you know, my passion is the young people. They're they're amazing. I do hear stories where people say, oh, these young people are lazy. I'm sorry, I have not met those folks. You know, um, our interns are ambitious. They are um, interested and interesting. But just doubling back, the, the reason that I wanted to start this program and Shamana and I move forward with it is because it, it is a passion. You know, we do have to develop our young leadership, you know, because at some point they're going to take our spots. They're going to take yeah. a seat at the table and let's have them prepared to do so in a meaningful way. I mean, it just really seems like something that's you know, socially, civically and economically are all tied together and this is going to benefit, you know, our yeah. community and I think in all, all realms. I, I hope so. I mean, I think we're doing, you know, a, a good job. Um, and I really think sometimes Shamana and I are getting more than what uh, we're putting out for these young people because we learned so much and the reward is great. You know, when you see someone, you know, obtaining, you know, full-time employment or you have someone start a business or you see someone that is super shy change into, you know, an order. Yeah. You know, those are the things that you're like, okay, I've Makes done something do right. Yeah. <laughs> I think I really appreciate you taking time with us, Gene. Um, if you have anything else to add, you know, the floor is yours, but uh, if not, you know. Well, I, I would like to ask your viewership if they, you know, hop on Chips, at least check it out, chipshamilton.com. Um, we're happy to ask answer any questions that they may have. And I truly appreciate this opportunity. Thank you so Pleasure's much. Pleasure's all mine. Um, anytime I can come back to Miami, you know, I was only stuck here about 10 years to get through, but uh, <laughs> so you guys on Facebook, LinkedIn, all those things, I'm Absolutely. guessing. Absolutely. All right, so keep, easy to find. Chips yep. in Hamilton. Thanks, mm -hmm. Gene. Have a good uh, holiday weekend. Thank you, you too, sir. I'm going to try. <laughs> It was great. That was good. That was okay? Yeah, it was perfect. Ooh, and he usually tapes even at the end. He might even put that part in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> no, you did great. <laughs>